Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring sum and difference of two cubes. So as you can see, we have here x raised to 6 minus 64, y raised to 9. The question here is, what are the factors or how are we going to factor this kind of expression? So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before diving into this given problem, Let's have first these two examples. We have here x cubed plus 125 and 8y cubed minus 27. We will use two different patterns on how to factor out perfect uh, the sum and difference of two cubes. Here, in this first pattern, or in this given first expression, as you can see, the first term is a perfect cube. The last term is also a perfect cube. And as you can see, this one is a plus. So how to factor it out? Let's say I have x cubed plus b cubed. To factor this kind of expression, it in pattern natin. First, get the cube root of a cubed, that is a. Okay, the cube root of a cube is equal to a. The cube root of your second term, b cube, is equal to b. Get also the, the cube root of your second term, which is equal to b. Then, copy the sign, which is plus. This is now the binomial factor. What about the other factor? The other factor is a trinomial. So how do we get, or how can we get the trinomial factor? Square, focus tayo dito. Square, the first term, which is a square. Then, to get the second term, multiply the first and second, a times b is a b then reverse this sign if this is positive this will become negative lastly square the last term that is plus b square this is now the pattern in fact in the first term in the first example so let's continue here prepare mo natin ng binomial factor get the square root of x cubed that is x Sorry, the cube root of x cubed, that is x. Get the cube root of 125, that is equal to 5. Copy the sign, which is plus. So we are done now with the binomial factor. Let's move on with the trinomial factor. Given this pattern, di ba sabi a square? Square the first term, which is x square. Next, multiply your first and second term, x times 5 is 5x. Since this one is plus, you will use minus. Then square the last term. 5 square is equal to positive 25 or plus 25. And this is now the factors of your x cubed plus 125. We have x plus 5 times x square minus 5x plus 25. Now let's continue with the next example. Here, as you can see, this one is a minus, meaning this one is the difference of two cubes. What, what is the pattern? The pattern here is this. Same lang sila, pero yung sign yung pinagkaiba. If you have a, a cube minus b cube, get the cube of your first term, which is a, copy the sign, which is minus, get the cube of your second term, which is equal to b. And for the trinomial factor, let's go with the trinomial factor. So we have here, square the first term, which is a square. Multiply your first and second. a times b is ab. And since this one is minus, you will have this plus. Then square the last term, which is plus b square. Now we are ready to 
factor this out. Your first term is 8y cubed. Kunin natin yung cube root nito. The cube root of your first term is 2y. Get the cube root of your second term, which is 27. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Then copy the minus sign. So your binomial factor now is 2y minus 3. We will focus here. Follow the pattern. Square your first term. 2y square. Again, let's use this space. 2y square is equal to 4 y square meaning the first term is 4 y square next multiply your first and second term 2 y times 3 is equal to 6 y so this is now 6 y since this one is minus this will become plus lastly square the second term your 3 square is equal to 9. So this is plus 9. Now these are the factors of your given expression 8y cubed minus 27. So I think you're ready for the main problem wherein you're asked to factor this one. But this one is quite complicated compared to item number 1 and 2. But don't worry, we have the pattern. First, get the cube root of x raised to 6. The cube root of x raised to 6 is simply x squared. So for the binomial factor, we have this x squared. Get the cube root of your second term. The cube root of 64 y raised to 9 is equal to 4 y cube. So this is now your second term. We have 4y cube. Then copy the sign or the operation between the two cubes, which is minus. So we have now the binomial factor. Let's get the trinomial factor. To get the trinomial factor, square your first term. x square raised to 2 is equal to x to the fourth power. Okay? So we have now x raised to 4. To get your second term, multiply this to x squared times 4y cubed, that is 4x squared y cubed. And since this one is subtraction, gawin mo lang siyang addition. Lastly, to get the last term, we have 4y cubed squared. And the answer here is 16y raised to 6. So this is plus 16y raised to 6. And this now, the factors of our main problem. We have x squared minus 4y cubed times x to the fourth power plus 4x squared y cubed plus 16y raised to 6 power. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to factor sum and difference of two cubes. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!